Governor Michael Castle, President Mary Woolley, Jeffrey Bean Foundation benefactors Mara and Tom Hutton, distinguished guests and colleagues. Thank you for this great honor, the Jeffrey Bean Builder of Science Award. I'm hum humbled and honored to be recognized for my work on vaccines. It's fitting that we gather here in an event that brings together elected government officials with physicians, scientists, and advocates for biomedical research during a time when there is great need for our work. There's a long tradition of collaboration between government and academia and industry in, in advancing vaccines. The distinguished historian David McCullough has written seminal biographies of American leaders. For example, people like Thomas Jefferson, who have enormous vision and brilliance. McCullough nonetheless makes the remarkable statement that nothing in history of consequences achieved by single individuals. Important advances that change society require the efforts of groups of individuals working together to change history. Nothing is more complex than the development of vaccines and their adoption into medical practice. My co-recipients of the Builder of Science Awards have made extraordinary contributions to the advancement of vaccines to the public and ensuring that the fruits of our labors reach those in need. I wanna also emphasize the importance of continued collaboration between government, academia, and industry to rapidly develop life-saving vaccines, like the COVID-19 vaccine now in use. The role of industry in allowing vaccines to be manufactured at scale and distributed worldwide should also not be underestimated or taken for granted nor should the efforts of the CDC, the NIH, and the Academy. It is this group effort that literally changes the course of history. This lesson is no more pertinent than in the field of vaccines. The efforts of my work reflect not only my work, but those of colleagues that have worked together with me at the University of Michigan, the Vaccine Research Center at NIAID, NIH, and at Sanofi. And I would particularly like to highlight the remarkable effort of the group at the Vaccine Research Center that began over two decades ago. This team of scientists addressed scientific hurdles to advance promising new vaccines for serious global health threats like HIV, tuberculosis, SARS, MERS, influenza, Ebola virus, and the current uh, coronavirus pandemic. I'd like to recognize a number of my colleagues from the Vaccine Research Center. They include world-class structural biologist, Peter Kwong, virologists, Barney Graham and Nancy Sullivan, immunologists, Mario Roderer, Bob Cedar, and Rick Kaup, and clinical translational scientists like Julie Ledgerwood. And of course, uh, I can't say enough about the current multi-talented director that succeeded me at the Vaccine Research Center, John Muscola. And I also want to uh, uh, acknowledge deeply my gratitude to, uh, for, to Tony Fauci, whose thoughtful and inspired leadership uh, and friendship uh, have really made all of our work possible. The organization would not have existed were it not for the efforts of Tony in uh, establishing it. Additional guidance and support have come from former NIH leaders like Harold Varmus and Elias Erhuni uh, that nurtured the creation of the center and by Francis Collins, the current director who continues his support to this day, as well as distinguished scientists, uh, David Baltimore and the late Bill Paul who served as uh, advisors uh, and mentors in the program. The collective efforts of these scientists have brought the science of vaccinology into the modern era. And finally, I could not have worked in this field for so many years without the support of my family. First and foremost is my wife, Dr. Betsy Nabel, a former board member of Research America. She's well known for her own achievements, but you may not appreciate her as I do, her warmth, compassion, and constancy. She's been my partner in life for more than 35 years and is the love of my life. We have been blessed with three amazing children, all of whom have chosen a career in biomedical research. Their future is yet another reason why we value Research America. 
for supporting biomedical research in the past and also ensuring its future. To all of you, I appreciate your recognition of our efforts in vaccine research. I hope that our work will continue to generate effective vaccines in the current coronavirus outbreak, as well as other present and future threats to our collective health. Thank you very much.